What's up, Hard Work Gang? Gang, gang. It's your boy Frankie Hard Work, and I am super duper back with another one, y'all. Let's get straight into it. So, y'all, it's part two, y'all. It's part two. So, Keisha Chavis, the pretty much the wife of ex NBA player Joe Smith, the guy who's basically getting paraded all over the social media, who was embarrassed because his wife didn't tell him she had an OnlyFans fan page. So, she went on TMZ Sports today and spoke about the situation more in depth. So I'm going to let y'all hear an explanation, fair use, fair use, fair use, and uh, I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary because um, I want to speak on this a little bit more. It's pretty interesting. So I'll be right back. This question is, where's how Joe? Are you, how are you where's, guys doing? Where's Joe? Um, He's pretty pissed off with me, so he's been, um, I think he's at his sister's house. He's not talking to me right now. So, yeah. Keisha, how long ago, obviously, we saw in the video that Joe was saying he had no idea that you had this account. How long, how long is the account, have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least over a year. Um, it's on my Instagram and my LinkedIn, but that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife, period. Um, and, you know, he has a friend that he's been entertaining and she decided that, you know, she wants to really put a wrench, a bigger, you know, wedge in our relationship. So she went digging around my page and was like, oh, do you know that she has this? And I blew it from that. And it's no secret I had to do, you know, and he won't do it. So I had to, and I'm sorry, you knew I was an adult video star when you met me. So if my survival, if I would do anything for my own survival, then what makes you think that would change now? When I retired from the adult industry, I promised myself if I don't sing, I don't eat. So when, you know, my music career wasn't popping here when I left Germany and I stayed here for him, I figured, you know, I would, you know, start a business. I started a puppy friend social club. It's the dog sitting business. And then COVID happened and that screwed everything up. I have a, a moving company, you know, that he actually works for me. Like he works for my moving company. You know, I'm tired of being the one to figure shit out. So I figured it out the best way I know that can maximize the money that needs to come in because I'm tired of living like, you know, I'm tired of living yeah. minimal, you know, financial issues. You know, and I have always made a good life for myself. You know, um, before I met Joe, I was living overseas in Europe and I had established myself as a singer, you know, and I came back here, you know, thinking that with his persona and who he was, once we got together and I found out who he was, that it would only take off you know, other things, but you know, not everybody's hustle and drive are the same. And depression is a serious thing also. So, you know, I've been just like, you know, supporting and dealing and going through his trials and tribulations with him. Um, I've started several businesses, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot like, and I just was, I just figured out like figure out, I have a home in Cape Verde I'm trying not to lose and a, and a roof over here we're trying to maintain that we almost got kicked out of. So I just kicked in the drive. So hard work gang, hard work gang, let me ask y'all a question. I need to ask y'all this question. After hearing her explanation, do you feel like she was wrong? Now let me say this. As a wife, as becoming somebody's wife and me accepting you as the person you are and your past, and, and we not supposed to and we all know that you used to do what you used to do because she said it he knew and like I said in my last video he knew what she did so he had to know she had a set mind state but at the same time he still took her for who she is and married her so right there she's wrong for that part you understand she's wrong for that part that he didn't know you know what I'm saying and the crazy part is he found out allegedly from his side chick which is crazy but he didn't know, so that's a problem right there in his own. But I'm gonna have to say this, y'all. Now listen to what she said. She said that he works for her with the moving company. He works for her, which was a flex. But he have to have a certain type of mindset to be out the NBA. Because remember, she said they got together in 2012. 
he retired in 2011, so I'm pretty sure he had some paper. You know what I'm saying? And she got one in 2012. And he knew that she was that type of life. And then as the years go on, you're not making no money. And she's saying that he's falling into depression, right? So that means his mindset, he can't be a boss. From what she's saying, like he can't, he don't have that boss mentality or that hustle mentality to go out and get to it. So is she wrong to decide to be like, yo, I'm about to get it on my own. I'm about to get it for the team. Now, me personally, I can't do that. I cannot have a woman go out there and just, just do everything for me. No, that's not happening. I understand you have partnerships, but it's not going to get that serious where you obviously don't have respect for me and you decide to go do the OnlyFans anyway. You obviously don't have that respect for me. So for her to even go out and do that right there, he got a certain mindset himself. So I don't know how I feel about the situation. I don't know if I'm really mad at her. Maybe I'm more upset with him. Because it's like, bro, why would you even be working for her, allegedly? Why? Why would you be doing that? You understand? I don't care how serious it is. If you was the millionaire, you was the boss, and then you decide to work for her for her moving company, bro, I'm not feeling that. So, hard work gang, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you ride, Is you riding with her now? Do you think she wrong, period? Or do you actually feel like, okay, I, I can understand? So, y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel. It's your boy, Frankie Hard Work. Easy.